Going everybody, this is Tava Driver. Hope you're having a great day and welcome back to another video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have not had McDonald's in a long time. I felt a crave to go ahead and go back there again for the first time in really, I think, like a year or two. I don't even remember the last time I've been there, but either way, McDonald's is easily one of the most popular restaurants in all of America and they serve some of the greatest burgers and sandwiches in fast food that you can think of. And I have almost all of them right here 10 of their most famous burgers in all fast food and I'm going to see if I can try to take down every single one of these in a quick amount of time. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the McDonald's Burgers and Sandwiches Challenge. Now again, I say burgers and sandwiches here because I mostly got all the singles and the reason why I did that is because I didn't want to get all of the doubles and the triples as well because obviously as I mentioned before, uh, they have a lot more calories obviously and I really wanted to keep it light. And again, you know, I just wanted the standard versions of them. You know, the ones that are more familiar to the customer's mind. And so obviously, these were all the ones that had the singles version of them and so it's pretty much the perfect way to try to encapsulate my love for McDonald's. Now obviously they have labeled every one of these so I'll go through each one of them as we get further along into the challenge but obviously these are all of the burgers and the sandwiches that are on the menu that I'm going to try to beat here. I have my plate right here along with a few napkins just in case things get messy. Now just in case I also have a Mountain Dew which unfortunately McDonald's doesn't sell. They do have to surge but they don't serve the Mountain Dew but hopefully I won't have to use that. Well I might need to use it for one of those sandwiches a little bit later on. We'll see about that a little later, but hopefully I won't have to use it this much. And finally, I have my stopwatch right here. I'd like to see if I can try to get this down like either 20 or 30 minutes or something like that, just like I did with the Cravings Value menu from Taco Bell earlier this year. So we'll see exactly how that goes, but either way, we're going to see how fast I can try to take down every one of these burgers and sandwiches. Folks, McDonald's is easily the most popular fast food restaurant in all of America. I love it. I'm sure a lot of you guys love it, and I just felt like this would be a great challenge to do to see how well all these burgers and sandwiches go down. It's going to be tricky, but you know what? I'm ready to go through it, so let's just get right into it. All right, here we go, everybody. Ten burgers and sandwiches from McDonald's. Hopefully, I can try to get this down in a quick amount of time, but again, the goal is to finish and hopefully not let all the meat get right into me. So, will I be able to do it? We're going to find out. We're going to get this challenge started in three, two, one. And we are going to start out with the cheeseburger right here. Now again, all of these are fortunately labeled by the wrap, so I'll tell you each one of them as we go through this challenge. But either way, we'll start out with the cheeseburger. Pretty good story, I really enjoyed that cheeseburger. Now we're gonna move on to the standard hamburger. I will admit, this one isn't as good without the cheese, but still, it does taste pretty well, especially with the amount of ketchup that they put on it. They're usually very generous with the ketchup. All right, moving on now to the McDouble. This one out, be good. Alright, here we go now. This is the McChicken right here. This has got a lot of lettuce and a lot of mayo on this thing, so hopefully it tastes a lot better than it is.
All right, here we go. This is the McCrispy sandwich now. So I've already had this once before. In fact, I had it like a while ago, but this should be pretty good. We'll give this a shot. I will tell you the juicy tenderness of this Miss Crispy, along with the pickle in it, spot on, man. This is a really good sandwich right here. All right, here we go. We are seven and a half minutes in, and we're at the halfway mark now. Obviously, that's about where I expect it to be because I like the Taco Bell Challenge. These are a lot harder to bring down, especially, you know, without all the liquids and all that stuff, and because they're actual, like, sandwiches and burgers, obviously. So, obviously, it's going to make it a lot more difficult, but by the way, I am enjoying this challenge. I feel like the favorite one that I have right now was that McDouble. That was actually surprisingly good right now, but here we go. We're going to move on to the spicy McChicken. Now, this is the one where I feel like that I might need a Mountain Dew in just a little bit. So, here we go. Let's give this a shot. Damn, that's spicy. Hey, I'm gonna have to need the Mountain Dew here. Hang on a second. Man, I really wanna know what the heck they put in the sauce, man, because this is really, really spicy, man. Oh my goodness, though, but it is really good as well. Give me more of that too, man. Oh, man. I have no idea what they put in that sauce, man. I mean, I like that spicy McCrispy, but man, it's just way too spicy for my mouth. So I don't really know if I'll ever try that again. But man, that was like really, really, really hot. Anyways, moving right along. We'll get into a little bit easier stuff now. Here's the filet fish. Uh, starting to feel it just a little bit. Uh, oh, okay, keep on going. Keep on going. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Alright, that little burp should actually help me out there. But anyways, moving on to item number eight. This is the double quarter pounder, but this is without the cheese. We'll get into one with the cheese in just a little bit.
Folks, I don't know if we're gonna make it to 20 minutes, but we're gonna try our best to see if we can get it done to the other target, which is 40 minutes. But either way, we're doing pretty well. I'm on my next to last time right here is the double quarter pounder with cheese. Meat fatigue is really starting to get to me. All this chewing is really taking a beating on my jaw. I'm gonna give myself a little moment to breathe here so I can prepare for the final burger. Lord help me with this last one. Okay, we're almost there folks. We only just got one more burger. Of course, my jaw is getting really tired. My stomach is also really getting a beating. But fortunately, we saved the best for last. This is the best item on the McDonald's menu. It is the classic Big Mac with all that island dressing. I can't believe I saved the best of last, but I'm excited I did it. This is gonna be really enjoyable. You ever have that feeling when you're buying into something you feel like you're immediately in heaven? Well, this is exactly me when it comes to the McDonald's Big Mac. This is why this is my favorite item on McDonald's menu. This is just a really good burger. Last bite, and then we get into some of the scraps to finish it off.
Oh, oh wait, that was a doozy. Well, folks, we've done it. Every single one of the burgers and sandwiches that are the standard versions on the menu, I have managed to bring them down in under a half hour. We did it in 27 minutes and 18 seconds. A little better than the Taco Bell challenge, but again, I kind of expected it would be somewhere around that because unlike the Taco Bell items, the cheeseburgers and all the sandwiches that are there in the McDonald's menu that I had, they are usually a lot harder to bring down because of the density and the size of the burgers and the sandwiches on its own. Some of the burgers were easy to take down, others though, they were not. And that played a real effect obviously because just like a Taco Bell challenge, I was starting to get pretty full and also my jaw was starting to get a little tired, but just like usual, we always find a way to finish the challenge and this is exactly what we did today. I really enjoyed all the items that I have on here. Obviously my favorite one is the Big Mac and when it comes to the item that I'm not going to have again, Obviously, it is the spicy mixed chicken. I don't know what sauce they put on that thing, but let me tell you what, I ain't trying that thing again. So yeah, I love McDonald's, obviously, just like the rest of you do. I love every single one of the burgers and the sandwiches that were there on the menu, in spite of the spicy McCrispy sandwich. Again, I'm not trying that again, but all the other burgers were amazing. I'm glad we were able to get it down under a half hour. This was another real doozy of a challenge that I did, but I enjoyed doing this challenge. I'm glad we did it, and you know what? And now a challenge in the books. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you like to see more of my content, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know my latest video is released. Comment below for future suggestions for all my videos, whether it's blogs, projects, or challenges, you name it. Leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to make them. As always, follow me on my social media. All the links are in the description below. That's going to do it for this crazy video. I hope you all are having another great day. I'm going to rest up and let all the beef and the chicken inside digest before I really blow myself up in the bathroom later tonight. But either way, I'll see all of you guys again in another video very soon. So long, everybody.